want to build a feature of shelving on this wall to hold my many books. And it needs to be rustic timber to go with the design theme of this man cave. Two months ago, I found just what I wanted from a shelving, gnarly old painter's planks for $350, not too far away. However, they were sold before I could get to them. But last weekend, there was a clearing sale on a property we look out on, where all the farm machinery and junk was being auctioned off. So with $400 in my pocket, I went to see if I could find some old timber planks. And this is what I scored, <laughs> with a measly bid of just $10. And this is only one quarter of the job lot. 10 bucks. Bargain. <laughs> This deeply weathered grain is exactly what I was after. I could fill it and make it smooth with clear epoxy, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to stain it and lacquer it and leave it rough. That's the look I want. So all it needs now is a jet wash to get off decades and decades of farm grime from being out in the open.
my book shelving is ready to go up. In the centre, the shelves will be held by screws just going through the sides of that white cupboard. And on uh, one side, I'll be putting screws through the wall sheets if I can get to the back of them. But on this side, I've got a concrete block wall. I can't do that on. I can't get to the other side of it. So I've had to do something different. I've drilled holes right through the timber wall cladding into the concrete block wall that's behind it. And then I've just hammered in a couple of old car bolts, cut the heads off them, left them sticking out. I've drilled holes down the centre of the plank at one end to match the bolts, recessed them out with a power saw, and the uh, protruding bolts will sit in there and that will hold the shelves really strongly.